So friction can stop objects, or at least slow them down. Right, there's always some friction when two objects are in contact with one another. Now here are two sanding blocks, little blocks of wood with sandpaper attached to them. And the sandpaper has lots of little nubs and bumps on them. So when we put the blocks together, the little nubs and bumps stick together and, and, and it's hard to move them. There's, there's lots of friction. Here are two pieces of satin. They are very smooth. If you rub them together, they just slide. Yeah, they're really slippery. Nothing is completely smooth, so there's always some friction. A slide is made of smooth material, so the friction is less. But just try sliding down the concrete. Concrete is rough. It has a lot of friction. There are ways to overcome friction. On a slide, one fun way to get the slide going faster is to put water on it. The water fills in any rough spots and makes the slide even smoother. Things slide easier over ice, too. There are many games that are played on the ice so that friction is less. Oil is another thing that can reduce friction. Spraying oil on a cookie sheet will reduce the friction so that the cookies will slide off the sheet when the baking is done. Yummy! I can overcome the force of friction from the grass by applying more force with my mallet. But there's another problem in playing croquet. Things keep moving at the same speed and in the same direction. So if I want to change the direction that my ball is moving or its speed, what should I do? To change direction, I have to hit the ball from a different direction. If I hit the ball over here, it moves away in the same direction as the swing of the mallet. To change direction again, I hit it from the other direction. If I want the ball to move slowly, I hit the ball with only a little force. To move it fast, I hit the ball with more force. The ball will move at a greater speed until friction slows this down or stops it.